Now, section 1, exercise 3, it says device a parallel input circuit such that when either of I0.0 .0 or I0.1 is on, Q0.0 .0 is on. So, this is a parallel circuit. If I press any of this input, then output should be on. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is you have to connect the inputs in parallel. So, this is my first input. Now, the second input, instead of connect it, connecting it here, which was series, I'll connect it here. That's my parallel, and I have to join it to the to the upper letter. So for that, I'll click this one and I'll click this arrow, line up, and here you can do. This is how you can join that, and here you can put the output. So this will become. Now I'll have to target i zero dot zero. Sorry, it should not be one. I zero dot zero. This is i zero dot one, and this is q zero dot zero. So two inputs connected in parallel to one output. Download this logic and you will have the results. Now in this case, if I press any of this button, my output will be true. This is called parallel logic. This is widely used when you have multiple buttons at different places in a machine and you want to turn on the machine from different locations. Then you can make such kind of circuit. So the program is downloaded. I have turned on the monitoring status. Now this both are false, output is off. If I turn on this one, you can see this is true, so the output is true. So output is on. If I release this one, this will be false. If I turn on this one, because it is in parallel, the output is on. Okay. Even if you turn on both of these inputs, output will remain on. This is a parallel connection. Okay. If both the out inputs are false, then only the output will be false. This is what happens in parallel. So this is about parallel input circuit. All right. So let's see. The, let's see what we have in the next video. Thank you.